Your vestry and I recently had a retreat at the church leadership conference in Canuga, North Carolina. As our time together was drawing to a close, vestry member Dave Blake suggested that we celebrate the Eucharist at nearby waterfalls. And it was a beautiful setting as we shared the body and blood of Jesus and the falls were just behind us. And as we left, Dave said, this will be a memory that we will take away with us and it will stay with us for a long time. And he was right. I have a permanent memory of that morning on the left bumper of my car. You see, that particular morning, a lot of other people decided it was a good day to see the falls. And the tiny parking lot was overly crowded. A small parking space opened up, so I backed out, as a good Christian would, to let the other car out. And it was then I heard this sickening crunch. Y'all know there is no sound like it in the world. I backed into a small, jagged boulder. I didn't see it. My backup camera didn't see it. The warning lights didn't see it in the sound off. But there was on the back of my bumper a perfect replication of the boulder that I will carry with me for some time now. Dave was right. The memory of that morning at the falls is going to stay with me for a while. I'm going to be driving around with that for a while as a reminder of my own carelessness. Thank you so much, Dave. I appreciate that. Actually, sin is a little bit like that. I don't believe most of us wake up every day and go, gosh darn, I'm going to sin today. What sin will I commit today? For the most part, it just happens. It's just sort of like an accident. We bump into something, or something bumps into us, and we're marked by that encounter. There may be no bodily dent, but something has been bent out of shape in our soul. We may ride around for a long time before we get it repaired. Ash Wednesday is a day when we acknowledge that we are bent out of shape by our own sin. That we don't look or act as our God would have us look or act. And you got to admit, Ash Wednesday is pretty weird. It's pretty weird that y'all are here tonight. Because in a couple of minutes, you will be coming up to have ashes smudged on your forehead with the words, Remember that you were dust, and to dust you shall return. How weird is that? It's even weirder that you will leave this place with those ashes. Maybe you'll go to Zaxby's and somebody will say, Excuse me, you've got something on your forehead. You'll try to explain what that is. Maybe you'll succeed. Maybe you won't. I hope your faith will propel you to share. I shared something like that at the noon service today. And I got an email later this afternoon saying, Cindy, I did just what you asked me to do. I was in Walmart. And somebody came up to me and said, what's that on your forehead? You need to take it off. And she explained what the ashes were a reminder of. And then the man proceeded to tell her how he, on a regular basis, received visions from God and how God talks to him a lot and how he now had a word for God from, to her, and then followed her around Walmart, making her so nervous she almost called security. Okay, so that can happen. <laughs> but how wonderfully weird that can happen. And you can always call security if you have to. You see, Ash Wednesday is not meant to be just another pity party. Look how bad I have been, God. No one, no one, no one has ever done what I've done. And thank God no one knows what I've done. Thank God no one can see that dent in my soul. Well, this is the day, this is the evening, to offer up all those bumps and dings to God and ask for the grace and forgiveness of Jesus Christ to make us new again, brand new. Not just good as new, there's a difference but brand spanking new. I once had another beloved car, and I had somebody who was trying to do a very nice thing for me. They were trying to jumpstart my car, but they ended up blowing up the battery, and they spewed acid 
all over the front of my car. I was just so pleased. I was going to leave it just like it was, but then I realized that the acid was eating away at my car and ultimately it would cause more harm in the future. So I finally took it in and I had it repaired. When I picked my car up a couple of days later, the car was whole again, absolutely whole. I could not see where the damage was. That's what happens when we go to God with the worst damage within us, the worst damage. Jesus can take us, heal us, and make us whole again. Maybe you remember the damage, but it can't be seen, certainly not by God, not by the Lord who loves us and forgives us. So with all my heart, with all my heart, I pray that this Lent will be truly a holy time for each one of you to grow into the holiness and wholeness that Jesus wants for you. Keep watch for how Jesus will be speaking to you this season. And watch out as you back up. There are boulders waiting to get you. In Jesus' name, amen.